In this tutorial, I'll go over the use of the M252 mortar from the Ace mod for Arma 2. The first step is to pick it up out of the item crate. Make sure you pick up the base plate as well as the mortar tube. You can see in the description that it's 81mm. From there, the next step is to set it up. The setup is going to depend heavily on the target area that you're attacking. In this case, I have center targets. I also have targets to the left and right of me. So I'll be setting up for the center as to make traversing to either side easier. The direction you set up on is known as the direction of fire and it's going to be used to calculate deflection. Once you pick out the direction you want to set up in, it's important to get an accurate bearing. Using the Millerad mode on the vector rangefinders, you'll be able to do that. To enter Millerad mode, it's Alt plus R. To assemble the mortar, using your self interact key, access the crew served weapons menu and place the base plate. Walking up to this base plate using the Ace interact menu, you're able to place the mortar tube onto it. Now that the mortar is assembled, we now need to get it set up, and to do that we'll need to pick up two aiming points. The aiming points are used as a reference point while traversing the mortar. Here you'll see how changing the deflection affects the mortar sight, and this is why we need the aiming post so we have a reference point to come back to while we're traversing. The quickest way to set up the aiming posts are to have somebody looking down the mortar site while you have somebody else setting them up, that way they can give directions on if you have to go left or right. In this case I have to do it myself and just manually recheck every time. I set the first site up at 25 meters and lower it, and I set the second post up at 50 meters and raise it up. This is so when I'm looking down the mortar site, I'm able to see it as one's in front of the other, it'll block it out. Now that the aiming posts are aligned, the mortar is now ready for use. The next step is to bring over the mortar shells. You can carry the box itself as well as load it into a vehicle. That makes transporting a mortar across the field a lot easier because you just load it into a Hummer. With our ammunition, now we can start looking for targets. I'll start with targets on the left, and I take a bearing in them in relation to my bearing and use the formula that will appear in the top right to figure out deflection.
Here you get to see how I use my direction of fire, which is 4,000 millirads, minus the new azimuth of the target, and it gives me the deflection adjustment, which I'm entering in right now. From there, it'll adjust the mortar sight, and I have to traverse the mortar to get it back aligned with the aiming pulse, and then I know I'm on target. Here you'll see I hit the traverse limit, and in that case, you exit the mortar, use your scroll menu, select shift mortar to whichever direction, drag it backwards, and once you're satisfied, press the C key to exit. Here you'll see parallax. To adjust for it, aim in between the posts. The further you shift the mortar, the greater that parallax will become. At this point we need to calculate elevation. This is done through ballistic charts. You find the range of the target, find the elevation, and enter it into the mortar system. If there's a difference in height between you and the target area, you'll have to calculate for that using the elevation per minus 100 meter adjustments. Once you've calculated elevation, return to the mortar site and enter in the new elevation using the elevation up and elevation down keys. As you change them, the mortar level will change just below elevation. Using the down and up arrow keys, adjust the tube until the bubble on level levels out. With elevation and deflection entered, you can now prepare, load, and fire the shell. There are a number of different fusing options. Impact, delay, proximity, and air burst. In this case, I'm just using an impact blast. Mortars are indirect fire weapons, meaning they're not precise. In this case, when you have a round fall short or not hit the intended mark, you're going to have to readjust and fire again. It also helps to fire for effect. This is why you see mortar teams operating with multiple mortars rather than just one crew. Raising elevation decreases your range, and decreasing your elevation increases your range. From here it's just a matter of reusing what I've already taught. I'll just readjust onto each group, set up the new deflection, the new elevation, fire again. I'll let it all play out though.
In the crew served weapon menu, in your self interaction menu, for the mortar there's an option to clean the tube. I'm not sure if that's implemented in Ace or not, as I've never had to do it. And here you see our returning back to our direction of fire eliminates the parallax error that we had before. <laughs> 